this man has the hardest job in the world as he's a researcher located in Antarctica. Risks. So the drivers have to be extremely cautious. And who or what left this gleaming monolith? New this morning, a group of researchers in India and Hey family, hope you guys are doing great and safe. I'm back with another video. So fasten your seat belts. Let's get started. This man has the hardest job in the world as he's a researcher located in Antarctica. And for this job, he needs to be able to withstand below freezing temperatures all day long. It's so cold that almost any liquid just instantly frees within seconds. Even a towel like this frees in midair. With a salary of around $150,000, will you do this job? I just tried to pour myself a root beer. Didn't work out so well. Guys, do you know from where pearls come from? This video claims that they are throwing the right origin, but I'm not sure. What do you think? Is this a legit video? Don't forget to leave the comments. Guys, in one of my last videos, I've shown a person going from one train to another in India. And this is kind of same thing, but happening with the ferry. Recording started. This shadow entity was captured at a home in North Hollywood in Los Angeles, California. The witness stated that they caught a new dash cam for the car and they were testing the dash cam with Wi-Fi when they caught this shadow. If you look at this shadow, its speed is very fast. Is this actually some kind of ghost or some kind of anomaly in the camera? Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Giant's nose here. <laughs> I'm 
Guys, what kind of wedding reception is this? Let me know in the comments below if you want to be a part of this wedding. Indian scientists on a nature walk through the foothills of the Western Ghats came across an unexpected discovery. A frog has been spotted in the wilds of Karnataka in southwest India sporting a truly sassy accoutrement. In what has to be the most goblin thing that ever goblined, scientists have recorded for the first time a living amphibian from whose skin had sprouted a mushroom. The frog? A rouse intermediate golden-backed frog, Hilarana intermedia. The mushroom? A bonnet mushroom of the genus Messina. The pairing? Truly iconic. Giant whale shark stopped the yacht and he kept making weird sounds out of his mouth. We can see from the eyes that he is very worried. Visitors also realize that this is a whale shark asking humans for help. The person from yacht reaches out to calm the whale shark and his partner called the marine animal rescue team. The rescue team got to the scene quickly. As rescuers follow the whale shark's guidance into the deep sea, what they saw surprised them all. There appears to be a huge whale shark floating only to find an arm thick rope tied around the whale shark's neck. Turns out the whale shark wants humans to save its mother. That's why whale sharks intercept yachts. The rescuers were moved by the scene. I'm not sure how long the rope was tied. The mother whale shark's life was on the line. They started the rescue with a knife, decided to help the mother whale. Shark regained her freedom as soon as possible. The rescue team did not let up for a moment through the concerned efforts of everyone and the mother shark is very cooperative, understood that humans were helping it. Guys, this is world's most crowded and busiest train in Bangladesh. You can't even see the train, it's people and people everywhere. Big shout out and special thank you to our supporters Gene Lumber, DJ Double, Michael Belcott, Giselle Van, Miol, XX Nighthawks, Keith Anderson, TCF70, and GitPick. You can also join the channel membership and get a shout out like this. Click on join button and check it out. Imagine waking up to this beast. He even has a name, Albert. Now the Department of Environmental Conservation in New York has seized the gator. I was devastated. Tony Cavallaro can't believe he has lost his best friend. As soon as they told me they're gonna take Albert, I was like, 
I was blown away. I didn't know what to say. It took 10 dudes to carry the gator from the home in Hamburg, outside Buffalo, to a waiting van. Cavallero says he bought Albert at a reptile show in Ohio in 1990 when he was just a cute little hatchling. Now, 34 years later, Albert has grown some. He's 11 feet long and weighs 750 pounds. Cavallero even built a $150,000 addition to his home where Albert had his own swimming pool. Are you hungry? Albert enjoys raw chicken and playfully chomps down on one of his ancestors, a stuffed dinosaur. He even gets his teeth brushed daily. What a good boy. Before Albert was taken away, public contact with him was prohibited. But Cavallero doesn't deny that people have been in the pool to take pictures. They were standing in the shallow and Elbert's down in the bottom and she took a picture of him and they, yeah, they didn't go swimming with him. Elbert's a gentle giant. He can't, you couldn't make him bite you. For now, Albert is with a licensed caretaker, but Tony Cavallero says he's hoping he'll be reunited with his best buddy. What would you do if a tiger was on the loose? A zoo in Japan wanted to find out. The Tobo Zoo held an annual training drill for an event most guests hope will never happen. Zoo employees were given this scenario. A major earthquake has shattered the glass in one of the tiger enclosures, and the curious big cat is roaming the park. Video from the zoo shows a keeper acting the part of the escaped tiger. His costume? A white sweatshirt and a tiger-striped hat. He prowled on all fours as the zoo employees sprang into protective action. The people playing tourists were evacuated and net barriers were raised around the escaped animal. A truck carrying animal experts and veterinarians drove closer to the human tiger. They simulated the use of a tranquilizer dart and waited for their prey to get drowsy before moving in. After being secured with rope, the tiger was lifted onto a stretcher, put on the back of the truck and driven away. While this is mere... A giveaway event on a metro line in southern China turned into chaos as passengers squeezed into the carriages to get one of the 200 packs of free spicy chicken samples. Many commuters complained that they could not get on the train and arrived late to work because of this event. People enjoying the Cairns as Palande after King Tide recently had some rather unusual company, the shape of a stingray that took the opportunity to explore the partially flooded amenity. And who or what left this gleaming monolith in the windswept land of Wales? It's a mystery. No footprints, no tire tracks. The 10-foot structure is anchored deep into the ground and is getting lots of attention. It's actually hollow. Craig Muir shot this video. What the heck do you think this thing is? I mean, when I first seen it, I didn't know what to think and I didn't touch it because I didn't know what it was. <laughs> so there were no signs that someone 
I don't know, brought a cart up there or a truck or something. There's, right? there's, there's, no, there's no possible way to get a truck up there. We've seen these monoliths pop up before in Romania and in Utah, but no one is coming forward yet for the monolith in Wales, which as far as we know, is not the work of a higher being. This is EcoArc, a high-tech fish farm floating off the coast of Singapore. It was built by a retired oil rig engineer who aims to bring cleaner, healthier seafood to the table. The floating structure aims to outperform traditional fish farms in a bid to help raise the amount of food produced locally in Singapore. The Singapore government decided to have a grant to help people who develop technology on closed containment system. And because of that, I used my offshore technology to start a closed containment system. The very first basis of our water quality is actually like what I do in the oil and gas and ship called the Balas Water Treatment System. So I use Balas Water Treatment System on the Eco Arc. Unlike other fish farms, Eco Arc uses no antibiotics, which help protect fish from disease, but can also build antibiotic resistance among humans and affect the environment in the long run. Disease causing pathogens are killed as the arc filters seawater before it is transferred into fish tanks. With the clean water, the tanks simulate ocean conditions to keep the fish swimming against the current, making them leaner and more nutritious. I hope that the uh, uh, Singapore government together with progressive farmers can adopt the technology and they can enhance Singapore food security by going next door to what we are doing now. This giant aquaphon produces sea bass, grouper and threadfin for restaurant tables. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll request you to please like the video, share with your friends and family, and post a comment. I'll see you in next video. Till then, take care. Peace. Bye-bye. God bless.